That is the worst pain. What's going on everybody? I'm Mike Ecker. Today I'm gonna to be taking on the climbing strength challenge. It's basically a test that shows you how strong of a climber you are. All we gotta do is really step on the scale, weigh me, and then do a couple of tests. All right, so first things first, I gotta step on the scale and see how much I weigh. Let's go! What are you, gosh, all right. We're in pounds. There we go. I can't even see. Is it done? Mm, there you are. 183.4, let's just round it up to 184 pounds to make the math simple. All right, so the test consists of four events. It's a max weighted hang, so like adding a percentage of your body weight to your body, so via weight belt, to a 20 millimeter ledge. You have to hold onto that 20 millimeter ledge for five seconds, I believe. And then we move to a max weighted pull up, again, adding additional weight, whatever percentage to your body weight, and then doing a max one rep pull up. And then a max front lever hold, just with your body weight. And the last event is gonna be a max dead hang. You're just holding onto a bar as long as you can. So let's get right into it. The first one I'm gonna try is a about 28% of my body weight, which is it's in kilograms. So 24 kilograms, which is about 52.9 pounds. And that roughly comes out to 28% of my body weight at 184 pounds. And I have five seconds on the clock. So I'm going to set that timer. I'm gonna wrap this weight around me. I'm gonna hang on that ledge and then we'll just keep going up and up and up until I fail. So we'll see where I'm at. Hundred and fifty two point nine, so yeah, about 106 pounds, which should come out to what 56% of my body weight. <sighs> it hurts to do that, but I can keep going up. Calculate the scores real quick. Okay, so 160% of body weight comes out to seven points. Uh, I couldn't make it to 180%. I'm not even gonna try. So I'm taking seven points on the first event. Let's move into the next one. The next one is max weighted pull up. Okay, so on to event number two, this is gonna be a weighted pull up, max added weight to my body weight. I'm gonna start with over 100 pounds. I'm gonna start with the two kettlebells, which is about 106 pounds, and we'll just keep going up from there. Okay, felt pretty easy. I'm gonna add a 45 pound plate to this and uh, that'll put me at about 151 pounds. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna go up to, I'm gonna add 15 pounds, see if we can do that. Ooh. Okay, success. 166 divided by 184, 90%. And that leaves me with, so I didn't make it to 200%, I made it to 90%, which leaves me with eight points for the second thing. So the next thing after this is front lever. Max hold front lever, let's get to it. Okay, event number three, this is a max front lever hold. Basically I have to just hold my body horizontally as long as I can. As soon as I start to dip down, time stops. You can see the timer here. And let's see how long I can hold the front lever. Oh! You're right at 12. 12? Yeah. Oh, that's not terrible. Yeah. My freaking head was about to pop though. <laughs> oh, okay. It literally feels like you're like 
doing a self-induced nosebleed when you do that. Okay. So about 12 seconds? Yeah. Cool. I'll take 12 seconds. Well, depends. See how many points I get for that. That is eight points because anything over 10 seconds is eight points. Man, if you get, to get 10 points, you need a 30 second front lever. That's like double my time. Okay, we'll have to do like a retest of all this in like two months after the record break and everything. Okay, so last event number four is going to be how long I can hold onto the bar in a dead hang position. And we'll just, we'll test it. I'm probably gonna be around like two minutes, but we'll see. All right, event four of four. This is a dead hang for max, max amount of time. I'm gonna set this timer. I know I can't hold it for 10 minutes, so we'll see how long I can hold it for. But it's just fully locked out, resting on my hands. As soon as I let go, can't, you cannot rest with one hand like this. Uh, you have to hold on with both hands uh, as long as you can. So here we go. This is probably the most miserable test out of all of them, in my opinion. We'll see how it goes. That is the worst pain. And there are a lot of people out there who can hold a dead hang for like six minutes. More power to you. I, hey, I'm proud to get over two minutes, but it's definitely something I need to work on is that, that pain tolerance endurance in that position. Cause I love the feeling of blood going through my forearms and when you're hanging in that position, it takes all the blood out of your forearms. So, dang, that was brutal. Two minutes, let's see my point value. We got two minutes, which is wah, 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 four points. So that was definitely my worst category. But total, I got seven on the first one, on the 20 millimeter hold, and I got eight, and then I got another eight, and then I got four. So 27 out of 40 points is my total score. And per this guideline, 27 points equates to 8B+, plus, which <laughs> equates to V14. So I have the power to climb V14. I've never climbed a V14. Um, it's probably because of my technique isn't that great. I kind of like just campus through everything when I climb. Uh, but that's really cool to know that I potentially have the strength to <laughs> climb a V14. Uh, the hardest I've ever climbed actually is a V10. So yeah, that's freaking awesome. This is an insane test. Uh, if you all like this video and you wanna see me do more challenges, please comment below what challenges you want me to try. Uh, thank you, Magnus, for being a role model in the climbing community. I've always looked up to you to, uh, as one of my climbing idols. So I appreciate you and thanks for helping me push harder in the climbing realm. And yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching and take care everybody.